my best friend. There was the pact you said to me that... If we were both still single by the time we were 30, I'd marry you. I knew you remembered. <laughs> it wasn't serious, though. So, how are you planning on spending the last year of your 20s? I think I want to travel. Charlotte! You said you needed the research for your new novel, so Amethyst Jones, the psychic? There was a pact. Yes, you are destined to be with him, Charlotte. I'm home. I am back in Miami. There is something I got to tell you. I met Rachel. I mean, it, things just felt easy, right? I asked her to marry me. Be my best man, my best woman. Hey, you two. Uh, yeah. I can see you haven't managed to improve his taste in art. Oh, um, Rachel painted that. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, Charlotte has always been the ultimate foodie. She can definitely help us with a decision here. Bachelor weekend? Oh, that's mm. beautiful. All right. You know, the last time I saw a nice guy this beautiful, I wrote you a postcard. I don't think you ever got. I think there might have been a mistake. My fiance was supposed to move the session. She's got to work late tonight. Well, it, it would be a shame to let the session go to waste. You ready to get those hips moving? Get this first dance down? What if Rory and I are meant to be together? What if he's been under my nose this whole time? Will you try and address for me? Just so I can see what they look like standing next to each other. It's a pretty perfect picture. Dear Charlotte, tonight I realized I couldn't live another day without telling you that I love you. Rory. Morning! How long had this bag of fan mail been sitting in the office? Six months? So why are you bringing this up to me now? Now I'm engaged. I think it's best if you just don't come to the wedding. I let my chance at real love get away because I was too afraid to acknowledge my own feelings. If anyone knows any reason for which they not should be joined in union, please state it now. You're still my best friend. But if you feel even a little bit of what you felt before, then maybe we could... Charlotte, I never stopped feeling you.